Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about automated trading. We're going to be using TradingView indicators and we're going to automate them to execute trades on the Bybit platform. Now I know I did cover this in a previous video, but it turns out that that video is my most liked video till today. So since there's such a high interest in this subject, I decided to update our board with new features. I'm going to be covering them all in this video, so if you like this content, leave a like on this video and please subscribe to the channel. So without wasting any more time, let's get into this video. Like always, you will find all the links in the description of this video. And if you need any support using this trading board, all you need to do is join my Discord server and you can ask there in the random chat channel or you can just leave a comment on this video. So if you scroll down, you're going to see that it says compatible with Forex. And what I meant by that was that our indicators, we have around 20 indicators. And if you head over to Coral.com and you just scroll down and you go to uh, trading indicators and tutorials, you'll see all the indicators there. So all our indicators are compatible with anything you can load on TradingView. So that's going to be cryptocurrency, Forex and whatever else you basically trade. If you load the indicator on the chart, it will work with that uh, pair. So uh, let's go back to the board. The bot is not compatible with Forex, it's only using the Bybit API at this moment. So you just need to create a Bybit account with my referral link, I will leave that in the description of this video as well. And you can get a deposit bonus when you sign up with my link. And you can also use this bot for free. So this is the only way I can keep the bot for free, is if you support me by trading on my link. If this is your first time using the bot and you also didn't use the old bot, you would need to create an account. So here on the top right you will see sign up, just click on sign up and then create your account and then you can go to login and use those details. So I'm just going to log into my account right here and you'll see if you don't have API keys yet it's going to ask you to set your API keys before you can do anything else. So after you've clicked on sign in and this is your first time and you haven't set your API keys yet, it's going to take you to this page add keys. So right here you'll see that you need to set the API keys from the Bybit account created with our referral link. If you don't use uh, our referral link to create an account and you set your API keys, it's basically just going to keep on giving you this page. But if you're using a testnet account, because the new board has a feature to use a testnet account, then you don't need to be under our referral link, only when you're using a live account. I've pasted in my key and my secret right here. And now you'll see that under the SEC token, uh, here at the bottom there's going to be this generate token. So you can just get yourself a random token, you're going to copy that and you're going to paste it in right here. And your token is going to be your security key and your API key and secret is connected to your token. So do not share your token and if you need to reset them, just set your new API key and your API secret and then just generate a new token, then submit it with a new token. Uh, so I'm just going to say uh, testnet because I'm using a testnet for this example so it doesn't help you try to use my keys and I will also be deleting them after this video. So if you have submitted your keys and everything was successful it would have taken you to your profile page and right here you will see your username and your email and uh, if you are in our lifetime discord membership you will see lifetime membership otherwise you will see limited user. So if you want to get lifetime membership, uh, go to crawl.com and check out our packages. That also includes uh, all of our features on the trading board, all of our indicators and then lifetime access to our private discord. And if you also uh, want to check if your keys has been submitted successfully, when you go to your wallet, you will see that there's going to be balance. And if you see your balance, then obviously uh, your keys are working. So now we can go over to exchange here on the top left and we can go to our trading board. At the moment, the board only supports uh, USDT and inverse perpetual contracts. I am working on adding spot as well to the board. Uh, and if we go to the top left and you click on exchange, the ladder position is going to be when you want to ladder into trades and you want to add multiple orders. So kind of like dollar cost averaging. And for now, we're just going to look at the trading board part where we can set our entries and exits so it will trade automatically for us. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up Bybit and TradingView as well. 
Just to demonstrate to you how this board works, I'm going to be using the board and I'm going to open up a trade with the board itself and this is not going to be an automated trade, but I just want to show you the concept of the trading board. So on the right side we have our buy bid open on the BTC USDT chart. So I'm just going to go here on the left and let's say we want to open up a buy position and we select uh, BTC USDT. So uh, we can choose 50 and 50 is going to be 50% of our wallet balance. So I think there's like $150 or something in there. So it should use around $70 to open up this position. And then I'm going to use 10x leverage. Uh, you can decide if you want to use a take profit and stop loss. So let's say we want to use a 1% take profit, which is a 1% market movement and it's going to be 10% with leverage since I'm using 10x leverage and it is USDT. I'm going to select open up a trade and you just want to confirm that. And then you're on the right side, you can see now our long position has been opened and it is around $70 with our take profit at 1%. If we want to close our trade, we can just go to the close section and we did enter a buy position and it was on BTC USDT. We can just close that and we can confirm we want to trade uh, close our trade and you'll see here on the right side our position has been closed. So now that you see that we can actually open and close our positions, we're going to now set uh, these commands on indicators and then it's going to do it automatically for us. So we'll be setting up, uh, setting it up one time and it's just continuously going to fire and open and close our positions. So at the bottom you will see that is going to be something called a syntax and that is going to be the command message uh, we're going to be setting in our alerts. And uh, as well here on the top you will see the URL. So I'm going to go to trading view right now and then I'm going to show you how you can set that up. In my previous video I talked about wanting to uh, make an indicator uh, specifically for the trading board and this is the indicator Crottle Auto Trader. So this version is just a new one since uh, members in the community requested that I made the Crottle exit which is one of the exit strategies used in this indicator as a visual so I'm just busy testing the alerts at the moment. Uh, so if you join the lifetime membership you will also get this indicator included or you can use your own indicator. So here on the right you will see there's going to be this back tester and there's also going to be the entry flags. So uh, this is going to be your sell entry and then take profit 1, 2, 3 and 4 is going to be 1, 2, 3 and 4 and this is going to be for a sell position and then you'll see for your long uh, positions you have the long and then 1, 2, 3 and 4. So here on the right you can see which take profit level is uh, the most accurate or you want to be using uh, to automate. So obviously take profit 1 would always be reached first so it would be the uh, highest accuracy. But the higher the take profit level the more profit you'll be making. So I'm going to be using let's say take profit 2 for the, uh, the purpose of this video. And uh, you need to go to your, your trading board first. And you will need to set how you want to enter your trades. So we're going to start off by setting up the buy alerts and also with the buy exit. So uh, in my board I have my buy and then also you're going to select the pair that you're trading. So for this example this is EOS USDT. So I'm just going to change that to EOS USDT and then you can choose your quantity. So I'm just going to leave that at 50 with my leverage at 10. Uh, but then you don't want to be setting a take profit because we're going to be using an uh, indicator based exit. So I'm going to set that to none with a capital N. So this is going to be inverse USDT. And if I scroll down I'm going to see this open trade syntax. And I'm just going to click on copy syntax. So now in trading view uh, you're going to go to your alert section. And that's here on the right. So you can just click on this clock and then uh, create a new alert. You want to select the indicator and I'm going to be using the buy flag because we're going to set our buy flag first. And I'm just going to clear out whatever's in here and I'm going to paste that in. And before I create my alert I need to set the webhook URL. So I mentioned that here on top you can find that and that is just going to send that command to this link which is our trading board. So I'm going to paste that in there. So you only have to set that once. So uh, now you can just go and select once per bar. So now that this is set, I'm going to click uh, on create. And now we just need two more uh, alerts and that's going to be for our take profit and our stop loss. 
So for our stop loss, uh, you need to set your stop loss alert on whatever exit condition you are using within your indicator. So when I click on my settings of my indicator, you can see my exit strategy is the crawl exit one. So I need to be setting an alert for that. That is if I want my back tester and my results to be more or less accurate to what I'm seeing on the chart. So I'm gonna go uh, to the, the board and I'm gonna select close because this is going to be an exit alert and it's for a buy signal. And we are also trading EOS USDT. So I'm just gonna scroll down and I'm gonna click on copy syntax. Then we go back to our trading view and we create a new uh, exit alert. So I'm gonna be using the buy crawl stop loss. This is the, the crawl exit one. Since I'm testing the, the new indicator, I need to still fix some of the words. So it's basically that one. Also once per bar, make sure to set your exit as well, the same as your entries. Otherwise you're gonna be uh, stuck in an entry without having a stop loss if you only set your stop loss for only once. So I set that to once per bar. I'm gonna close, uh, clear out whatever's in there. I paste in my exit and I'm just gonna create. And I can do the same thing for my take profit since both are basically exit conditions. So again, I'm gonna select my auto trader and then uh, buy take profit target two. And also once per bar and we'll set the same uh, message in right there. So that's now set for our long positions and now we're gonna do the same thing for our shorts. So we're gonna go back to our trading board. We're gonna to go to open, but now we're gonna set our buy to sell. So that's the only thing really uh, we really need to do. Scroll down, copy the syntax, uh, go into your create alert, select the indicator, and this time you wanna select the sell. Um, it's actually, it's going to be the sell flag. Once per bar, clear out whatever's in there and paste in your syntax. So uh, now you can create your alert and we also need to get our exit syntax. So I'm gonna to go to close and this time for a sell position, just scroll down and copy the syntax and again, uh, this, is, this time is gonna be for the sell exit. So it's a sell crawl stop loss, once per bar, paste that in. And now also for our short take profit uh, two. So we're just gonna select the indicator and sell take profit two once per bar and we're gonna paste that in as well. Okay, so as simple as that, this is basically your trading board now set and now it will just wait for the next flag which is going to be a buy uh, flag and it will enter you into a buy position. So then obviously it's gonna wait until one of these targets, either your stop loss or your take profit reaches and then it will take you out of your trade and wait for the next flag. That's basically it for this video and if you guys like it, please subscribe to the channel and also leave a like and if you want to join the lifetime membership, just join the discord server, link in the description and then when you're in the discord server, you can just go and create a support ticket or go through the website and do not answer any messages from people DMing you on discord because I won't be DMing you first so they're most likely going to be scammers. So I hope you guys are having a nice one and I will see you in the next video.